Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at the issues that can be caused by hidden geometry. As always, credit where credit's due. This is actually a, a, an idea, a concept that has been asked about and talked about uh, a few times lately on our forum. We did a video just a little bit ago that was talking about tagging. Um, you know, putting stuff on the right tag and why uh, leaving, moving untagged geometry around will cause problems. And uh, it's kind of connects to that where unseen geometry, unseen things can cause issues or stuff in the wrong place. So uh, it's just kind of a, a, maybe look at this as good housekeeping, good sketchup, good model keeping, um, a way to keep yourself from hurting yourself with what you do inside of sketchup. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about right now. All right, so first things first, here I have uh, some lines, some lines here next to Niraj, and I'm gonna come in here and I wanna say I wanna break this in half. I'm gonna just draw a line right in the middle, so midpoint to midpoint, I click that and I get this message. Oh, your recent operation has caused visible geometry to merge with existing geometry that is hidden. Okay, and then for some reason, I have to say okay again, and again, and again, because they really want you to know that that just happened. Um, so what's going on there? Well, let's, let me give you another example of this issue because, you know, training means driving things into the ground, right? Just say it as often as possible. Let's draw a circle right here on the ground and look at this. There's nothing here. And it's giving me this message again and again and again and again. What's happening here? Well, if I do go to view and I say show hidden geometry, I'll see that I have some geometry here that was turned off. So that message was popping up to tell me that basically it's 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 trying to do a good thing here. It's telling me when I drew this line, I was breaking this face into two pieces. When I drew this circle where I thought it was empty space, I was actually breaking this surface down here. So that message is not like something that's just there to annoy you. I mean, it can be irritating to get the same message popping up multiple times, but it's actually telling you that there's issues going on right there. Um, the nice thing is that this hidden geometry or hidden objects will show you everything regardless of context or anything else like that. So you can always turn hidden geometry on and just see what's going on, see what's hiding from you and where you might have those kinds of problems. Let me show you another example of where this happens. And this is one that I've, I've hit myself. So in general, you guys know, I, I do recommend, of course, using tags for visibility. Put stuff on tag, you know, create your geometry, put it in a group or component, apply a tag and use visibility, uh, use the visibility tag or the visibility check there to turn tags on and off. That is how you should do it. But I have actually advocated for this on occasion, just taking a surface, uh, a face, a bit of geometry and toggling it to hidden temporarily while you do something. So I want to do something inside this box real quick, hide the top, do whatever I have to do, and then unhide it like for a, a step or two. But there are cases where you forget. And when you get do that, you get something like this. Where I'll come draw a line right here and this face won't close at the top. And I've had this happen where I start doing things like, okay, what the heck? Why? Why is this not? Why is this not? What's going on? And obviously at this point, I, I probably have a good idea. I'm going to undo that. But if I come in and I, of course, look at my hidden geometry, the reason this face is not closing when I draw the line is because there's already a face there. It's just hidden. So when you do draw a line like this, it's, it won't create a new face if a face already exists. It's only going to create a face if that face is not there. In this case, the hidden geometry is preventing a new face from showing up. All right. One more example I want to show you guys. Right over here, we have a couple little uh, low poly spheres. If I pick on one of these, um, this is what you're used to seeing. But there are occasions where you'll pick on something and you'll get this, right? Where I get this bounding box. It's way bigger than the geometry inside of it. Now, I do want to note that this used to be, this should be an occurrence that would happen a lot more than it happens now. A few versions back, uh, SketchUp changed a little bit where it 
really tries to tighten down the bounding box to just the geometry. It used to be things like if I came in here and if this axis was like over here, the bounding box would go around all of it or something like that. There's some things that made the bounding boxes bigger than they need to be and it's better now, but you will still occasionally get something like this. Now, because we're in a video that's talking about how hidden geometry messes with you, you guys probably already figured out what the problem is. If I go back up here to hidden geometry again, I'll see that I have a little hidden line way down here. Selecting it and deleting it will shrink my bounding box. And now, whether I have hidden geometry on or not, I will see just this tight little bounding box. So that is a couple examples of how hidden geometry can kind of mess with uh, your modeling. And because it's unseen, you don't always know what exactly is going on there. Again, this is something that was brought up several times in uh, the forum. And if you don't, if you haven't been on the forum, check it out, forums.sketchup.com. It's a great spot to get modeling help, uh, get assistance from our community, which are a bunch of amazing SketchUp modelers. Uh, if you've had problems like this, I would recommend putting toggle hidden geometry on a shortcut key. So you can flip it on and off real quick and you can see that kind of stuff. Again, if you really follow that, that advice I was giving, only hide stuff if it's gonna be temporarily, otherwise put it on a tag and turn it on and off, that's gonna save you a lot of heartache. Um, it's gonna keep you from having those problems. And if you accompany that with only tag groups and components and not loose geometry, you should be safe and not run into these sorts of issues anymore. Uh, but if you do, you can just turn hidden geometry on and usually figure out what the problem is pretty quickly. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you run into this problem before? Is there an issue that you have questions about that you think would make a good skill builder? Let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.